All right, so G-Day 2021 is in the books. Uh, the red team beat the black team. It was 28 to 23. Black team scored late. Uh, Carson Beck led a great drive to make the game a little bit closer, but it was probably the best spring game that I have seen uh, under the Kirby era as far as, uh, especially on the offensive side, as far as how both teams played. JT Daniels was JT Daniels from last year. There was no missteps. Uh, he looked phenomenal. He was, you know, I, and I don't have the st stats right off the top of my head. I think he was like 28 for 41. Uh, he had like 325 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. On the other side, the black team, Carson Beck, looked great. Um, I don't, again, I don't have his exact stats. I know he was somewhere in like that. 20 for 30 range and he had somewhere between like 225 and 250 yards he did have two touchdowns and an interception the interception was an overthrown ball um but it was uh it was great to see stetson bennett even got in the game and threw for 75 80 yards i believe jackson muschamp even threw for you know 30 40 yards something like that i mean altogether the Georgia quarterbacks passed for like 700 yards in this game. And again, I'm waiting for the official stats and everything to come out, but I know that it was over 600. And I think it's gonna be closer to that 700 mark when it's all said and done, when we take in the stats for all of the quarterbacks that played, which I mean, is a huge difference from past spring games where we saw Jake Fromm throw for, you know, 150 or 160 and Justin Fields throw for 180 or 200 or whatever it was um and last year we didn't have a spring game you know but again this one had a completely different feel uh the running game really was not shown at all uh zamir white carried the ball a couple times james cook carried it a couple times uh kendall milton you know a handful Dejon edwards a handful i mean it was um, if I had to guess, I, I would say there was probably between 20, 20 and 30 uh, rush attempts total in the game between both teams and all four running backs. Um, and I think they even may have used a fifth running back that was a walk-on, but uh, did not focus on the run at all, did not try to implement the run. It was simply JT Daniels and Carson Beck letting it fly and seeing how the DBs and, and wide receivers and everything were going to play out. You could tell that Georgia was missing its wide receiver one, whether that was Pickens, whether that's Burton, whether that's Blaylock, what, I mean, whoever, uh, Rosemead, Jack Saint. Uh, I mean, the list goes on of wide receivers that were injured and did not play in this game, but there was still a lot of talent there. Kiaris Jackson is Kiaris Jackson. He brought a lot of stability to that wide receiver room when it was needed most. Uh, he's, he's just a guy you can rely on. He's going to run the right routes. He's going to catch the ball. And uh, he had a great game. Uh, Demetrius Robertson had a good game. Uh, he went over 100 yards. I know he had a 60-plus-yard 60 60 yard touchdown, I think. Uh, right towards the the end of the game that JT Daniels threw, and, and I'll throw that uh, you know a little snippet of that video up here too, but uh, you know he he had some options at wide receiver. Uh, Ad Mitchell, Adane Mitchell, the freshman that uh, that has been a standout in spring practice. He looked good. You know early on he was kind of out of sync with J T Daniels. And he did have a few drops. I want to say three, maybe four drops in this game. Um, back shoulder throws that JT Daniels is used to throwing to Pickens, that Pickens catches 90% of those balls. Well, it's a little bit different when you have a freshman wide receiver uh, that, you know, this is his first college game, even though it's a scrimmage. Uh, so, you know, maybe some nerves or whatever. But Adonai Mitchell really came on, uh, especially in the second half. And, and I think he went over 100 yards. He had a great touchdown, a beautiful pass from JT Daniels that, uh, that A.D. Mitchell snagged. And I'll show that one here as well. But that was just, uh, that was a great play. And, you know, the DBs, it, it looked like, uh, you know, speed was struggling a little bit. Kimber, to me, looks like uh, he has one of the DB spots locked down. It, it, you know, if I was to, 
uh, you know, throw a name out right now. I think Kimber is probably the most solid corner that we have. Uh, you know, Ringo, he, he, I didn't see him very much. I mean, I know that he played, he had a huge monster hit on Lad McConkey at the end of the game. Uh, but as far as in, you know, terms of in coverage, didn't see a whole lot. Uh, surprisingly, didn't see a whole lot of Arian Smith today. I know that he had a deep ball uh, from Carson Beck that would have been a touchdown, but it was overthrown by a yard, maybe, uh, maybe two yards. But uh, he, you know, he really wasn't utilized as much as I thought he would be today. Uh, and he was kind of playing on both sides. He was wearing a white jersey, so he was kind of going back and forth between both sides. Wasn't really used. Uh, but we were using the tight ends. I mean, Darnell Washington, he had to have had, you know, 75 yards. Brock Bowers, you know, he had a big game. He had probably somewhere in that 50 to 75 yard range. Uh, so we were throwing to the tight ends. We were throwing to running backs. I, I know James Cook uh, had, you know, 50, 50 to 75 yards. And again, I don't have the stats in front of me. Uh, they're not even out there yet. But James Cook had somewhere, you know, 50 to 75 yards receiving. Zamir White caught a couple balls. Kendall Milton caught a couple balls. Dejon Edwards caught a couple balls. I mean, they were just, they were throwing, they were getting everybody involved. It was just a great showing. I, and I don't think we showed anything different than what you saw the last four games of Georgia from last year as far as when JT Daniels was the starter. To me, the offense looked almost exactly the same. Uh, just minus, you know, our wide receivers that would normally be starting and will be starting uh, come September. So it was a great game. Uh, glad to have, you know, had the opportunity to watch it. The, the weather held up. It didn't end up raining. Um, and and it, overall, I think it was a huge success. And it gives fans a lot to look forward to uh, for the next four to five months before the season starts. And it, it's going to get a lot of talk around college football just simply based on what JT Daniels was able to do today. And Carson Beck has locked up that number two quarterback spot. There's no controversy there. He is the number two quarterback, pretty clear cut. And, and you know, knock on wood, I'm not saying if something were to happen, but if we needed Carson Beck to come into a game at any point for any reason, we would be just fine. Carson Beck looked great. Uh, you know, like I said, he had somewhere between 225 to 250 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, he has a monster arm. He was, you know, there was a couple sidearm throws. He uses his checkdowns. Um, not worried about the quarterback position at all going into the 2021 season. So very good things on the horizon. Uh, very happy what I saw today. Great game. Hey, the dogs won, right? Go dogs. Hopefully we'll see you soon and uh, we'll definitely see you in September.